so today we are starting a topic that is line configuration or the channel configuration well we know that line line means the channel channel that meaning is whatever the communication medium we are having that is called the channel or line and how we are going to configure that that is the topic is line configuration now here we can see that there are two types of line configuration the one is point to point and another is multi point so there are two types of line configuration point to point and multi point well we can see that whenever there is a station let us suppose that this is a computer now this computer i am assuming is the c1 is communicated with the another computer we can also say it is a station or the terminal the names are same now they are connected with the single link so the single line is there by which they are communicating so that means a single dedicated line this is called the point to point connection well there are various other names of this one some people say that it is peer to peer p2p point to point or some people say it is the unicast unicast means sending to the single direction single person that is the unicast and the important thing about this particular configuration is that it is the direct line means let us suppose that two computers are there then they are connected with the direct line dedicated line sometimes we say that now we know that whenever the direct line is present obviously that is very costly because you see if i am having my system at the home and from the internet provider directly from the company the wire is coming at my home that will be costly and that direct line will be having very high speed also because nobody is sharing that so the speed is high so speed is high in that case that is the advantage of this particular configuration but assume that there are uh, suppose 70 such people who are having the direct line so you can assume that more number of wires are required so in that particular communication more cables are required so cables are more means cost is more that's why this particular thing is very costly but yeah we are having the advantage as well which is the high speed let us assume that in your college there cannot be the shared speed there will be the dedicated line so this dedicated line or the direct line work for the companies like mnc or some institutes or organization so they are having such type of configuration now talking about the next type of configuration line configuration and that is multi point now talking about the multi point multi point means there are multiple computers which are connected you can see that let us suppose that i am saying this is the main computer or you may say that it is a server or even you can assume this is some computer there is no problem then further there are other computers connected to the same line let us suppose this is c1 it is c2 and it is c3 now the another computer can be the server or can be the computer that depend so i am assuming it is a server now if all these are sharing a line or the link we can see that with the single link they all are connected such type of configuration is called the multi point configuration now the minimum requirement is that three or more devices are connected so three or more devices connected why three or more devices because we can see that even in the above example there was two devices right so two computers were there so at least there should be three so the three or more devices in this case there are four devices are connected to the single channel so in that case that is the multi point now multi point you can see that if 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 anyone is sending the data let us suppose the data is coming from the server to this way it is going to the c1 as well as to c2 as well as to the c3 so the data is going in the all the directions 
that is the multi point now the best example of the multi point communication is the broadband now the broadband at your home which you have taken of maybe 30 mbps or 50 mbps that broadband is shared because you can see that whenever the pole is there in your area in that particular pole there is a switch is applied so there is a switch is placed in some kind of box now from that switch the wires are coming out and they are going to the different different people home so that switch is connected with the pole and now these wires are going into maybe home one it is going to the home two maybe if you have observed such type of box placed at the pole nearby your home maybe you are assuming that at your home you are having dedicated line but no broadband is not a dedicated line one line is coming from the network company to that particular switch or the hub and they are further divided to the different different homes so this is all about the multi point communication so broadband is the best example for that yes why we are using this one because that is very effective why we are saying the effective because it is effective in terms of cost because less cost is there and cables are less now you can see that in the above example in point to point if we are having seven different different places then seven direct wires from the company but here you can see that one wire is come coming and seven different different homes can be connected so it is less cabling and less cost so this this is the main advantage of this one there are two further categories of the multi point communication just like the point to point communication is called the unicast similarly multi point communication are having two things one is called the multicast and another is called the broadcast well the meaning of both one is whenever we are sending from one to many if there is a single system that is sending to many the both are multicast and broadcast and there is so many confusion about this thing also but i will take one example to make you understand in the multicast we must know the example of the meeting now let us suppose that we are sending the data to the three person right now these three persons which are interested into the communication and these three people are ready to discuss the things that is called the multicast i am making a, uh, just like more example to make you understand let us suppose that there is a class of 60 people now out of that 60 people we are only taking the crs class representatives and their meeting is going with the head so these all crs are ready to discuss all the things they are ready to communicate properly they are able to hear so that is the example of multicast multicast means everybody is interested just like the all the team leaders are discussing with the management right the manager so that is the multicast now talking about the broadcast the example is the seminar or the conference in the conference we have seen that there are various people n number of people they may be interested in the communication or not because out of the conference let us suppose 600 people are there 200 are very much interested 100 are less interested and there are few people which are sitting at the back they are not interested in the communication that is the example of the broadcast so broadcast communication now i am taking one example to make you understand let us suppose that this is a system c1 it is going to send the data to different different people like say c2 c3 and c4 now these all people are going to take that data they all are the team leader let us suppose the c1 is manager and these all are the team leaders and the data is for all people they all are interested and data is for all that is called multicast multicast means 
sending to the multiple people so this is the example of multicast i'm taking one more example to make you understand about the broadcast similar situation let us suppose there is a c1 computer that is going to send the data to different different people c1 c2 c3 c4 and c5 means there are multiple people assuming it is c6 now this manager only want to send the data to c2 and c3 means the data is for c2 and c3 these two people but the manager is sending the data to all so c2 and c3 will receive it other will discard it so that is the example of broadcast broadcast means i am sending to all and if it is for some specific people they will understand it other people will discard it just like in the class of 16 if i have to talk with one specific person assuming that there is a person amit to whom i want to talk in the class i am saying yes amit you have to do this assignment tomorrow everybody is hearing including amit but amit will only understand take it but other people will ignore it so that is the example of broadcast broadcast means we are sending to all but the message is for the few people so one one example we can also opt just like in the class of 60 we are having the four crs now if all four crs are taken differently and communicated that is the example of multicast because one to many communication is there all four crs and one head is communicating that is the multicast but if head is going inside the class and saying yes all the four crs you have to do this thing and everybody is listening all 60 students also so that is a part of broadcast because those crs will take out that data and other people will ignore it so broadcast and multicast these are the two part of the multipoint communication so that is all about the line configuration